Lin Chen and Dimi Chen Craft Art. Hello, everyone. Hello. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different, but I hope you like it. Uh huh. So, <laughs> uh, Lin here is making a beautiful quilled figure. I wonder which one it is. <laughs> You find on the end. Even though you already saw it in the thumbnail. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? Here, um, I'm just gluing pieces of paper together. So then it's one consecutive long strand, and then just rolling it up. And yeah. So this is the art of quilling, right? Yeah, this is what quilling is. It's uh, pretty much the rolling of paper mm -hmm. and then glue, pretty much. Yeah, and then I. Uh, I came across it one day, and I think this this kind of style of like art went back during like the 1600s or something like that. Like a very like this isn't new, mm -hmm. but I've only discovered it recently. Got it. Yeah. So there, I made two circles, and then I used that um, that blue tray as a dome, mm -hmm. uh, or to make it into sort of like a a, a half circle, mm -hmm. and then I glued the two pieces together, and that would be the head. Got and it. here I'm making the body. Okay, it's like the same technique. More yeah, it's it's more or less the same technique. You just and then here, so that's the tray I was using. So the the those are circles, and then the one I'm currently using right now, it's making sort of like a cone. Mm -hmm. And then I use glue to glue it. I it's mean, like I, keep I, it in the shape. To right? keep it in the shape, a lot of people would you sometimes put it on the outside. I like to put it on the inside because when you put glue on the outside or like sealer any sort. It it uh, changes the color of the paper slightly, mm -hmm. and here I'm using a two uh not a toothbrush a paintbrush because I've noticed a lot of people when they do tutorial like they just want to make it quick and can you imagine like me putting my like I can't put my finger in that dome and then like trying to like spread the glue around then they get my fingers everywhere like glue everywhere mm -hmm. and I can't stand doing that and here I'm making I forgot what I'm I think making. the legs oh uh, yeah I'm making or the legs. arms yeah. So I don't have anything small. No, those were the legs. Yeah, so I don't have anything small, so I'm using my pen, the tip of my pen, to make that shape. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then you just afterwards you made the afterwards shoes? Afterwards I made the boots, like the, the leg part of the boots, and then these these two parts that were I the just feet. made were the feet. Got yeah. it. Yeah. And then here I'm making the arms, so like the sleeve part. So the blue part, it's going to be, when I you know push it out, it's going to be... Yeah, I like that. The sleeve, and then the 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 beige part is the arm. Is the part of his arm, or his sleeve? The elbow. Yeah. And then here you're making <clears throat> the hands. I'm, no. I'm making the oh the, the, the forearm. The forearm. The forearm. Got it. Yeah, I'm making it diff different parts because if you see the picture of Link. Uh, especially, this is, I'm making the link from Breath of the Wild, and if you see the picture of him, uh, his shirt sleeves has a different color. Mm -hmm. And it's different parts. And here I'm making, um, his hands. So I'm, oh, yeah, little tiny. I'm giving it dimension by using that. Mm -hmm. I can keep it flat. But... Well, it's more interesting once it yeah. has a little texture. Now you're making a mess. <laughs> now I'm making a mess, yeah. And gluing more paper together. It's really There's... cool watching you twirl it really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> You were saying? No, nothing. No. Like, it looks so fast, but like, when I'm doing it, it takes forever. I think in total, it took you two and a half It was two hours. and a half hour to mm -hmm. film the whole thing, and then, of course, we speed it up as we do it. And here, I'm making the, the, sh the shield. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shield. The shield. Excuse me. Sorry, we're both recovering from... From being very sick. <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> So you can still tell by my voice. And here I'm making the sword. So this kind of art style isn't very difficult. You know, mm -hmm. just pretty much use your imagination. And it's a little bit uh, restricting though because mm -hmm. you're working with one dimensional paper. But that that makes part of the and challenge, then, right? Yeah, so you're working with paper and glue pretty much and I guess and that's where your imagination comes in. Like, how do I shape this or how do I make it so that it looks realistic, you know? Mm -hmm. Which 
it isn't, but close enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's the sword there. So this this link from Breath of the Wild has the master sword. So mm -hmm. is it from the past? Who knows? No one knows yet until <laughs> next two weeks from now. <laughs> I don't know the difference, really. I've never heard of Legend of Zelda until I met Dimitri. And even then, he keeps playing. I, I wasn't any interested in it at all. We'll get her to play <clears throat> Breath of the Wild for everyone. <laughs> I mean, since they they released the Breath of the Wild trailer and the mm -hmm. Switch coming out, my gosh, he would not stop talking about it. Every <laughs> day he watches videos on it. I'm excited. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm excited about other stuff. Like, I'm excited about this thing. Mm -hmm. You know, like this art and crafts. I'm excited about that. And you're excited about games, you know? Everyone has different interests. It, I don't have to have the same interests as you, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that's what makes people interesting, you know? Yeah. So we can share our interests. Yeah. So there you were doing the shirt, right? Yeah, that was the shirt. And I'm just adding little details on his shirt because he has sort of like prints on them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And then this is the the base or the stand that I'm gonna ha glue him mm -hmm. on. So, and I'm currently drawing the the Shika eye, mm -hmm. right? Or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. So, pretty cool. And then I'm just doing the little details on the boot. So this is that part that folds over, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's <clears throat> a little difficult to see because it's so small. His boots are so tiny. <laughs> But it's okay. It's not supposed to be realistic anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the whole. And that's the point of art. Yeah, this that's is a, that unique. is the point of art, and that's where your creativity comes in. You know. Mm -hmm. So I was gluing the leg piece to the boots, and then now gluing the legs together so that I can glue it onto the body part. I at least got the spacing right. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's hard since you're dealing with paper and uh, I'm 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 using normal glue, Elmer's glue, and sometimes it's hard to deal with Elmer's glue because it's uh it's wet, mm -hmm. and until it starts to dry a little, sometimes it's really hard to deal with it. Everything moves a little. Uh, yeah, and here I'm doing the arms. So, but yeah, you can slowly see it forming. Mm -hmm. So that's the hand. The other hand. <clears throat> and then the head. And now I'm going to work on his hair. His golden locks. <laughs> <laughs> he looks very girly. But I think he's always looked girly, though. Hmm. No? I don't know. No, I think they gave him, like, a very angular face in the past. Which is why when this game was, like, first announced three years ago, uh -huh. or however long ago it was, uh, everyone thought that Link was going to be a girl, or okay. there was at least that possibility. They should make Link a girl. He's so, like so awesome it's such a great character and from what i heard like the storyline is great the design is great you know mm -hmm. why not expand the spectrum a little and get mm -hmm. more girls interested in games you know yeah by having a female fan. well that's where fan art comes in right <laughs> but it's not the same mm -hmm. <clears throat> and of course link and his tassels <laughs> His Jewish locks. Uh, let's not get political here. <laughs> <laughs> so here you're just adding the rest of the hair, right? Yeah, just adding it. He has bangs, so adding bangs. Na 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 It's very mesmerizing watching it fast like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's making me dizzy, really. But look, you got a head full of hair in no time at all. Yes. It's amazing how technology allows us to do something like this. Mm hmm Because cause if you have to sit here and watch me do this for two and a half hours, I don't think... Anyone would make it you'll, through. <laughs> you'll ever come back to watching <laughs> it, you know? Yeah, hopefully, like, you guys enjoy this. And we... hopefully this isn't too long. Like, we've <laughs> cut it down a lot. Yeah. Well, I think this is a, a fair amount of time. And here I'm making his ponytail because he has some sort of, like, locks. <laughs> because you still want to see the process, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think the amazing thing about, like, learning, like, arts and craft is seeing the process of, like, start to finish, you know? Mm -hmm. 
like so that's not impossible. I mean, it, we st I started off with nothing, with just strips of paper, and then look where I got. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that in itself is pretty amazing. So gluing his ponytail, and I had quite a bit of trouble getting his ponytail to stay on because it has such a small surface area. Mm -hmm. So putting the glue on there and getting it on his head, it keeps falling off. So I like made several attempts to get his hair to stay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And his elf's ears. Elvish ears. Elvish? Do you think he can hear well with his pointy ears? His tiny ears. Or do you think they point in the right direction when he's lost? He he hears, hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm trying to piece everything together. But I think you might have forgotten something. Yeah. I didn't realize I made... No, I didn't make any mistake, but I, I left something out and I realized I did. I forgot. That's okay. There's, there's always room for So there's the head. So yeah, you can see it slowly coming to form. Then, and then... Unzipped. Dis disembodied him. I realized that I, I didn't put... Because um, he has a bunch of belts on him. And for, like, like leather belts. Yes, for like satchels to, you know... To hold on to his swords and all that stuff. So I realized I forgot to do that after I glued his arms and starting to glue his head together. So I had to like disembody him <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> but good thing is that the glue didn't dry mm -hmm. quickly enough. So I was still able to do it without ruining it. Because one thing with Elmer's glue is that when it's wet, it's, it's hard to deal with. But once it dries, it keeps it intact. And it stays. I, yeah, and it stays. But it takes a long time for it. So afterwards, you need to just not touch it. Mm -hmm. And I try using um, super, uh, not super glue. I try using a uh, hot glue. Hot glue works really nicely, but it was just, it falls apart. Mm -hmm. But voila, that's the finished version of Link from so. Breath of the Wild. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we plan on doing it more or less weekly with a different character. Yeah. Uh, next week, we plan on doing Zelda. Yeah. And so, so please look forward to that. Come back next week for our video on Zelda, also from Breath of the Wild, of course. And then we'll be doing more characters from other series next time. Yeah, and anime characters as well, yep. not just video games. So see you next week. Bye-bye. Hi. Hello everyone! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this uh, wonderful video that we just put together. Um, we just want to announce that we are giving away this wonderful link that Lynn just made. Go zoom in. Zoom in! Where's the camera? It's right there. Okay. Hi Link! Uh, so yeah, we wanted to say that we are giving away this link if you can help us reach 1,000 subscribers! Yay! So, please share uh, with all your friends. Like comment and leave nice comments so that way all your friends see your comment <laughs> and then they'll be like oh what a wonderful friend that recommended me to this video because they <laughs> left their comment there um and that way you can help us grow and we can make more of these wonderful figures mm -hmm. uh like next week we'll be making dun, 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 Zelda Zelda you uh, yeah kind of Okay, right, good enough. So yeah, we'll put a picture. Uh, so yeah, uh, please share with all your friends and help us reach 1,000 subscribers. Yay. Yay. Um, and also we want to announce that we are starting a Patreon. Mm -hmm. So this Patreon will help us uh, offset costs of uh, getting equipment to do recordings like this. Uh, fancy Ma microphones and stuff. Materials to Materials make these. to make all of these. Because uh, they take a lot of time and a lot of material, and she's all out of what paper. color paper. <laughs> what color was it that you were out of? Um, the the beige color, the, the skin beige color. color. So yeah, help us out. Uh, don't feel obliged. We'll continue making these videos anyways. But if you want to help us out, uh, you now have an avenue to do so. So we'll set that up, and we'll put a link below in the in the somewhere do, below in the doobly do, <laughs> uh, and you'll be able to click that and check out our Patreon, which we are setting up. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Bye, Chan Chans. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.